this is an actually interesting question but again a lengthy one uh, if you are not familiar with this model of question ideally should be left in the exam but uh, now is an opportunity to know how to solve it again typically should be attempted only by those who are really good in algebra the idea for this kind of a question is you write 5 minus x on one side and take root 5 to the other side now cube them on both sides now why are you cubing them because you need an x cube so when you cube them on both sides so this becomes a minus b the whole cube so this becomes 125 minus x cube uh, <coughs> minus 3 into 25 into x plus 3 into 5 into x square is equal to 5 root 5. So you will get uh, minus x cube minus 75x plus 15x square plus 125 equal to 5 root 5. Now if you notice some terms we already have. We don't have 70x. We have 75. We got something more than that. So rearrange everything on one side. So x cube Plus, I will write only what I want. Uh, x cube, sorry. Uh, so, this should be minus. So, when I take everything to the right hand side. So, minus 15x square. Then, plus 75x. Uh, minus 125. Plus 5 root 5 equal to 0. Now, let me segregate what I want. So, this is what I want. This is what I want. But, in this, I need only 70x. So, 5x will be extra. I don't need it. So let me segregate it out. So what do I get? x cube minus 15x square plus 70x plus 5x minus 125 plus 5 root 5 equal to 0. Now here we need to simplify this. Take 5 common. So this C keep it aside. We already got what we need. So this part is already there with us. So we just need to simplify this. So take 5 common. This becomes x minus 25 plus 5 root 5. Now, what is x? Remember, from here you get 5 minus root 5 is your x. So, replace it. 5 into x is 5 minus root 5. Minus 25. Plus 5 root 5. So, this becomes um, 5 into minus 20 minus root 5 plus 5 root 5. So, this is minus 100 minus 5 root 5 plus 5 root 5. This gets cancelled, so you get minus 100. But I need minus 200. So what do I do? It is x cube minus 15x square plus 70x. This is as it is. This entire part got simplified. This entire part got simplified into a minus 100. So I will add another minus 100. So this is equal to 0. So if I add one more minus 100 on the left hand side, I should also add a minus 100 on the right hand side. So finally I will get what I want. Minus 200 should be equal to minus 100. So the correct answer is option D. So it's a bit lengthy. Unfortunately, there is no direct way. This is the only way to do it, and ideally should be done by those who are very strong in this kind of an, in, in this kind of an area. So that's the answer.